we have this contingency table, the probability that they're non-smoker. That means, look, you got a thousand people. What's the probability to pick one person and find that they're non-smoker? A probability is always the amount you're interested in, non-smoker, divide by the total. So this is 702 divided by 1,000. And they say to the to four decimal places. So if you punch in your calculator, it doesn't give you any more than four decimal places. Uh, probably that they're black. Same thing. Look, this entire row are black individuals. So there's 195 out of 1,000. So 0.195. Probably that they're non-smoker given that they're black. So in another question we did this, you need to find out the probability that they're non-smoker and black, and then divide it by the probability of being black. That's the conditional formula. Anytime you see that vertical bar, that means you have to find the probability of N and B, and then divide by the second probability, divide by probability of B. So N and B. Um, so non-smoker and black, those meet up right here. That's 183 out of 1,000. That's the probability of being non-smoker and black. Then we need to divide that by the probability of B, which we just got was 0 0.195. Okay, real quick with a calculator. 183 divided by 1,000, and then divide that by 0.195. So I got this, a pretty high probability. Probability of being non-smoker given white, same type of thing here. Probability of non-smoker given white means probability of N and W divided by the probability of W. So N and W, those meet up right here at 519 out of 1,000. Then we divide that by the probability of being white. There's 805 out of 1,000. So convert those to decimals then divide, then you should have the right answer. And then we've already been doing these, probably of N and W, I think we just did that somewhere, N and W, that's that's this one up here, right? Probably of N and W means you gotta find where N and W meet up. They meet up right here in the table, so it's 519 out of 1,000.